get ready for a visit from Mercury. He's actually already here. Just moved in a couple of days ago, and he's nice and cozy. But if you have trouble making up your mind on a normal day, the visit from Mercury is just going to make things worse, Libra. Because it's going to put you in such intellectual heights. You will be able to debate inside your head and externally with anybody who will listen for that many more hours. And it will even get to the point where you might start getting sick of yourself. There's a wonderful sense when Mercury is in Libra to think great thoughts and challenge norms, not necessarily norms, but to what we can learn by challenging the opposite side, right? As long as you're taking notes on the debate, because the truth is a debate is never going to come to a conclusion because that's the weak side of it. The sense of it's never going to be able, you're never going to be able to make a decision. You're never going to want to make a decision. You're going to want to speak fairly, talk fairly. And the truth is you may be finding faults with, fault with things that don't even have fault. It's just that, you know, you can see where they could have fault and you might be inclined to speak on it and say it. This is a really kind of passive aggressive energy that enjoys itself, enjoys itself because intellectually it never has to come to conclusions, but pragmatically it does have to come to conclusions and it can cause a lot of issues, especially with people who feel like they are being judged. The wonderful thing about Libra is they you usually will find ways to put things nicely, but still the irritation is going to come when even nicely you can't make up your mind about something. Or as soon as somebody agrees with you about something, you start debating the opposite side of something. Why? Because now you can see the other side of things. And you can go into this endless... <laughs> Endless debate. Find somebody who likes to debate. Find somebody that likes to talk. Find somebody that isn't looking for conclusions because you're never going to come to them. To intellectual discovery and um, conceptualization, this is a wonderful time, Libra, for actually putting pen to paper and making a decision. This is going to be a very strenuous time, a very difficult time for you. It is very interesting that Venus, your ruling planet, has gone into Leo. So even though there can be a lack of being able to make up your mind, there is that sense of having high standards and having high standards for yourself and having a high sense of worth and personal value and what people owe you and the attention that you deserve. So there is that sense of maybe, just maybe, we could be running into some issues, Libra, with... Um, Speaking our mind and speaking with conviction and saying something even though we don't have all the information on it or we haven't really drawn conclusions ourselves or we haven't found the strength to stand on one side or the other. We just want to be able to debate both sides and never have to take responsibility for actually making a decision and still expecting to be treated with respect for that. Um, I'm going to call this we might get a little bit Karen-esque during the next month and a half, at least while Mercury is still in, in, in Libra. Now, now, Venus is in Leo for a little longer of a time, and that could be lovely energy, very lovely energy because it's a sense of, it's a sense of strength of character that um, what could be wishy-washy or very influenced planet like, Leo, uh, like Venus um, you know, she lacks sometimes, but in a fiery sign like Leo, she has a sense of strength and she has a sense of self-respect and self-dignity. How wonderful it would be if we could speak with conviction and make decisions the way that Leos can. You know, that would be a great, wonderful uh, combination. But alas, that is not the fate. This is just 2020 written all over it. It's like you have strength in one thing, but then you're restricted in another. And it's just like one step forward, two steps back, which is exactly what you're probably going to be feeling for the next month or so. Letting you know ahead of time. Now, <laughs> Libra. There are some bad decisions being made against you. 
there are some bad there's some bad talk being made against you and reason being it's probably because of decisions that you've made or statements that you've made that um, have pissed people off um, <clears throat> not that you should worry about what people think about you but you were you should be worried about speaking things if, if you don't know for a fact that they're true um, does your opinion really ma matter all that much should somebody's opinion really matter so much or should it it have to be backed up by fact of some sort if you can debate both sides and still come to the conclusion that there is no conclusion then you don't know where you stand and people don't owe you as much respect as you think they do there is an imbalance here is what I'm saying so Libra understand that there could be that carrying out in your life that sense of being critical be people being very critical toward you people starting to get angry and starting to get pissed because it always seems like you say one thing and then immediately start fighting for the opposite side people calling you out people attacking you if you feel like you've been attacked this is the energy that we're in right now this is what we have we have injustice so a decision being made against you and I think this is more people or public their decision being made not against every single Libra but you're starting to feel like the people that you associate with the people that you work with your family starting to get really cranky and irritable with you this is that sense of them making a decision against you um, not giving you the benefit of the doubt getting irritated really easily this is something that you are you can expect to face this is something that you're going to be up against with this energy floating around The wonderful sense of optimism that comes from Venus and Leo will strengthen you, however. And the wonderful thing that you can do with this energy is, like I said, use it to conceptualize. Use it to think outside of the box or inspire yourself to see the pros and cons. Make great lists of pros and cons and then see what really shines out to you from each side of the, of the chart. This is a wonderful time for you to focus on gratitude. Yeah make gratitude your attitude it will show an appreciation and a humility in the face of what could be such um, indecisiveness or judgmentalness um, there could be a sense that this is a good time to get away to get away from your family to take a break to take a vacation maybe even from work um, if you're working remotely that might be good just a little bit like less people around you um, that you might be inclined to criticize or a good time to go on vacation is what I'm saying but there is a sense of changing the scenery in your mind or the scene the scenery changing too quickly because your mind is racing and moving so quickly that you can't help yourself so the wonderful thing about the the, the best way to deal with this energy Libra is just to let it go to give it over to God and to realize that to, to humble yourself even when you're talking to other people you know and you've basically gone on a tangent of debating with yourself for the past hour and a half take a deep breath let it out and realize yourself realize what you've just done be sympathetic be empathetic toward other people's emotions and feelings at least understand why they're frustrated with you you know and you can even use your words to say I'm sorry it's just really difficult for me right now to make a decision um, let me weigh this out a little bit more I think you're gonna make a major breakthrough to be totally honest with you and I think this happens because when we test people we see who they are in the dark and I don't think that intentionally Libras we know that we're testing people right now but we are are we the best of ourselves no we are not the best of ourselves we're a little bit too comfortable and a little too cocky right now and expect the divine feminine is behaving this way it's behaving a little bit too cocky and a little bit too comfortable right now but the wonderful aspect of her 
with Mercury and Libra is that she will be able to realize where she is not being fair. And she will eventually start to realize, you know what? I am out of balance. And I need to get myself back into balance because ultimately what I'm fighting is imbalance. It's not the divine masculine, it's imbalance. And we need to get things back into balance. So there's this wonderful reckoning that you can go through if you keep that deliberation inside and internal. Be patient, say I'm sorry, and be courageous. You know, the more that we need to say sorry ourselves, the easier it gets to accept somebody else's apology. Realizing that from the outside, it's really easy to accept and expect perfection, but on the inside, it's impossible. You'd end up disappointing yourself every single day. And hearing yourself and wearing yourself down is gonna make you start to realize, wow, maybe I need to listen a little bit more and judge a little bit less. V vocalize, you know, say I'm sorry. Have the strength to say, to admit you were wrong. Have the strength to realize what you've been doing and recognize, and that's the wonderful illuminating quality when Mercury is coming into Leo, is that it will illuminate and make you realize what you've been doing. And take some sort of accountability for, oh my God, I have been doing that, haven't I? Are you all crazy right now because of me? Yes, we are. Oh, it's recognizing it and realizing it inside yourself. And being introspective about something is going to move you along big time, Libra. Journey to wholeness. Wow. This is divine feminine energy, but it's divine energy. It's a sense of self-awareness. It's a sense of being able to be yourself out loud without any shame at all. But also that means if you were wrong, saying that you were wrong. Being willing to do it, being willing to say it, it's okay. It's okay to say, I was wrong and I fucked up. Not just to another person, but to your life. Where have I gone wrong? Where have I not, what have I not finished? What have I not finished? All those things I've left without answers and without conclusions. Am I whole? Do I feel good about that? No, there's a sense of going back around and concluding things and finishing things so that you yourself can feel good. This is a time when you have a great deal of opportunity to get conclusions, to have other people make up their mind, especially if you can't make up your mind for yourself also a sense of great opportunity to have people open for debate. Life force energy. You're tapping into the divine, Libra. You are. You're really feeling the energy of Fullness, completeness, wholeness, self-love, self-appreciation at a time where other people may feel like you're irritating. It's really interesting. Surrender. Ooh, look at this energy. Wait a second. Oh my gosh. Look at these beautiful rings intertwined. Marriage, eternity, affinity. Something's happening that is meant to be. It's destined.
You know, the wisest statement that anybody can make is, I don't know. I think if you use this mercurial energy to learn and to listen, instead of decide and speak, you will end up filling yourself up and coming out a better, more complete and whole person. Let's get into your main reading. Now that might have sounded like a bunch of gibberish and a bunch of nonsense, but at the very least now you know how you sound to everybody else. Freedom is yours. Dream the world into being. Watch your words. Is literally grounding your reading. Oh my God. This could not have come out more perfectly. Why? Check this out. Aries and Sagittarius. Now, Aries will go direct because it's in retrograde until the end of Scorpio season, the beginning of Sagittarius season. That's when it goes direct. Okay, that's what it's saying. This Aries in retrograde is lasting until then. And it's definitely impacting you because the house of self is opposite you. And with its fall comes your rise. But what do you do with your rise? That's really when you show your mettle, isn't it? It's really when you show who you are and realize, you know what? As opposite as he is to me, that Aries, I fucking need him. I fucking need him because life is about balance it's not just about me. And more than anything, you're pulled toward that beautiful balance. Freedom is yours. A sense of unbridled, um, not devil may care, but unbridled, unchecked freedom and ability to be who you are and say who you want. In other words, there's this wonderful lightning in your life right now, Leo. And, and I'm sorry, Libra. Anything that, that was oppressing you and like, like just making you feel like it had its its um, foot on your neck, you're feeling liberated, you're feeling released, you're feeling like now you can say whatever it is that you want to say or think whatever it is that you want to think and enjoy that and indulge in that. And that's what you're going to be doing. You're gonna be enjo en enjoying this freedom that you have without this oppression. So let's say your boss is on vacation this sense of being liberated and being freed because your boss decided to go away. And now for the next week, week and a half, two weeks, you don't feel like you're being damned, like you're being oppressed. And different aspects of yourself are gonna be able to come out. Now, what will those aspects be? There is always enough, this is Piscean energy, there is always enough dreams, there is always enough concepts, there's always enough ideas, there's always enough emotions. This has something to do with emotion. This has something to do with memory, remembering emotion. Um, see, I think you're about to stick up for yourself. I think you're about to get really, really assertive in places that you were not able to get assertive before. Your past is influencing your current situation. It is taking what happened back then and almost... Um, reconciling it oh I just understood this is be at home oh Libra I feel like what you're going to be doing is almost like throwing things up to people's face that they did in the past reminding them of their weaknesses reminding of them of what they did and in some way, feeling like that is in, in any, is somehow making you more powerful or balancing things out for you. It is not gonna be balancing things out for you. You are really encouraged to, if you feel like doing that, to not do that and find a different way to speak, a more diplomatic way, or just a sense of don't say anything at all. I know it's a sense of, hey, 
I'm finally liberated, why shouldn't I speak? Because what will you do with the words that you speak? What are you using it for? This is what we're being asked right now. Are you, be, are you, are you using it to get angry? Like when somebody took their foot off your neck, which they never should have had, what did you do? Was the first thing you did, like take a knife and cut off that foot? If that's your sense, if that's your inclination, if that's what you want to do, then all you're doing is throwing things into greater sense of chaos. This is talking about finding the middle ground but finding the middle ground securely and securing the middle ground instead of instead of um, circling around and around and around and around and around and around and around never never finding any middle ground never finding any answer learn from the past you've been here before but you've also watched somebody else go through this somebody that was unfair to you and the truth is right now you have to continue to be yourself don't allow yourself to become like them just because you have the opportunity to harm others or oppress others or make others feel like shit the way you were made to feel like shit this is a sense of you be yourself and remember learn learning from the past and how far did it bring us and how far did it get us you will have a chance to strike out against somebody who hurt you you will but if you are evolved you will not do it you will take the high ground and you will let them pass out of your life be fearless and bold surrender now this is being in a weakened position, a weakened sense of self. But this is Aries energy, Aries and Sagittarius energy, like a moth to a flame. It's like, it's almost like you can't resist yourself. It's almost like you can't resist being hypercritical or saying what's on your mind and it's just going to come out. Here's the warning. I don't think you're going to heed it. This is Gemini energy. This is listen before you speak. This is be careful what you say. That's the energy right now. The conclusion, I don't have one. Because I'm so channeling your energy, there is a sense of not being able to come to a conclusion. And the thing is, as much as you say or as much as you snap back, it's not going to actually bring anybody to a conclusion. It's not going to persuade them. If anything, all it's going to do is piss them off even more and create more resentment. Let's get into your angel messages. Uh, people will forget what you said, but they will always remember how you made them feel. And that's the weakness is with mercury here. That's like air on air all up here thinking about how good those words feel and how wonderful those thoughts feel, but not thinking about how are they affecting people? How are those words making somebody else feel? Losing sight of that, you lose sight of yourself and you degrade when you could have built up. That's the energy. And yes, there is an extended reading. The link is below. We're going to clarify all this with Tara. Lots of angel messages out here for you today. Archangel Raphael is here. Feel yourself surrounded by my emerald green light. I, Archangel Raphael, offer you healing and solace. The storm clouds will soon clear and the sun will shine eternally bright. Trust. The unknown. Do not fear the unknown. This is a time of, oh, I understand. 
the reason why you're talking, the reason why you're thinking out loud, the reason why you're being super like diplomatic is because you, you want some sort of self-worth. You feel weakened. You feel like you've been diminished. So now you want to jump on the opportunity to shine. But what are you putting in the spotlight? Do not fear the unknown. This is a time of deep exploration and transformation. Unfamiliar territory leads to new horizons. healing. I, the angel of healing, am with you right now. Feel my presence and my unwavering love for you. I have loved you before the dawn of time, and I will love you for all eternity. eternity. In other words, Libra, you don't have to do anything. The healing is going to be done for you because the universe has recognized the lack of balance. Any excessive efforts on your part are just going to contribute to the imbalance. Let it happen to you. Diversity. The world would be a boring place if we were all the same. Celebrate your uniqueness. You are special and much loved. Put your focus and your energy on getting those projects done on getting to work on those things, manifesting your dreams. In terms of everybody else, let it go. Everybody needs their own thoughts. Everybody needs to think their own things. And sometimes playing devil's advocate can really, really help. And sometimes it can help you see a side that at one point you misunderstood. So like I said, if you use this energy as a way to conceptualize, and as soon as you're about to say something, have the debate in your head first to see, help you see the other side of things. That is illumination. That is potential for growth. Harmony. Disharmony occurs when we try to resist life's natural flow. Everything has its cycle. Every stage of life has its own unique meaning and purpose. Every day can be harmonious if we want it to be. Harmony is what you're going for, not dissonance. You want to see how things work together, not how to push them against each other. In other words, Libra, use your powers for good. Archangel Uriel, a great spiritual transformation is currently occurring both in your life and in our world. This is the union of heaven and earth. Spirit and matter, heart and mind, unite in harmonious balance. This is the time for you to be able to see the other side. With conviction. Integrity. Be flexible, but also be true to you. Stand by your beliefs and values, and others will stand by and believe in you. What are your beliefs and values? Decide first, and then think from there. Heart and soul. When making your decision, take into account what your heart and soul are saying. Sometimes the mind can deceive us. Choose through love, not fear. This is going to be a crazy place for the next month and a half at least. But your heart is pure and true. Listen to it. Let it have a voice before you use yours. And from that point, I'm leaping over to tarot. Please do join me for the extended so I can get the nitty gritty on this energy. I'll see you guys over there.